Hello everyone, and welcome to another A Thousand Ways tutorial. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to create a simple vertical navigation bar here in Dreamweaver CS6. Now, in the previous video, I've shown you guys how to create a simple horizontal navigation bar. So this is kind of a, a review, and technically it's the same, but there's just a few different properties when having a vertical navigation instead of a horizontal. Also, um, as you see, when I hover over each button, my color changes as well as the uh, font weight, which I set to bold. So I'm going to start off by creating a new document by going to File and clicking New, or you can use the keyboard shortcut of Command N or Control N. Once that's done, HTML is what I want, and I'm going to click this drop-down menu and apply HTML5, then click Create. Now, out of habit, I always title my documents, and I suggest that you guys do the same. So I'm going to name this Simple Vertical Navigation. Now that that's done, I'm just going to set up my document so that I can start coding my navigation bar. So I'll simply hit enter three times and go up once and apply style tags. Now normally you'll have a, a separate styling sheet, but since we're just creating a navigation bar we really don't need it we can have the styling right here with an HTML document now if you were creating a website and depending on how big it is you'll probably have more than one external CSS style sheet so this is just for a demonstration for this tutorial nine times out of ten you'll have a separate sheet so uh, this will hold our CSS which I'm not going to do right now so we'll just leave that and go down to body. Now what I want to do is apply a top margin because I do not want my navigation bar to touch the top of our document here. So I'm just going to apply a top navigation of 30 and that should be pretty good. So if you don't know what that will do just wait you'll see exactly what it does. So hit enter and now I'm going to just create some space and put in a nav tag now this is a HTML5 tag if you're worried about browser compatibility then just simply use a div tag it's whatever you choose and now within this nav tag I'm simply going to press tab and I'm going to apply a div ID uh, which will be navigation and that tag and within this div we're going to have a unordered list so this will basically hold our links and things like that so now we tab that and we'll begin creating our list items and I'm going to apply an anchor, uh, a link reference, basically, is what I would call it. And we're going to leave it empty, so I'm just going to have the pound there. And we'll close that anchor and close that li. And that's simply how your list items should look. I'm going to copy this by pressing Command-C. For PC users, is Control-C. And then press enter and press command V and for PC users control V. And you just do that two more times and now we'll insert our link titles which I'm using titles that are mostly applied to portfolio sites. So I'm sure they look familiar to you guys. Okay, so now we technically have our HTML done for our list. And I'm simply going to click the Live button here. And you automatically see the uh, navigation links on the design view here. 
So now we're going to go back up to our style tags here. And we're going to start styling our nav bar. So first, pound navigation. We're going to style our list items. So open, close bracket, enter twice. And first we want to apply our font, which I'll have it 32 pixels and Arial. And after that, we're going to remove the list style type. Um, so this will just basically take away the bullet points within our list here. And once I've done that, I'll just click refresh. And you see that the bullets are gone and our text has been applied. So once that's done, we're going to apply styling to our anchors or links and first we're going to apply a display of block and padding which I'll have at 5 pixels of uh, width I would make a 300 pixels and text align to center because I want my text to be in the center of my box so and now we're going to apply background color so that we can actually see our buttons and our text color will be white so that's FFF turn text decoration none I don't want any underlines here and I'm going to apply a border at the bottom so border bottom two pixels solid and the color shall be a gray and now when I click refresh all our styles have been applied so now we have this simple looking navigation but there's no hover effect so we're just basically going to apply hover styles which are very simple to do so pound navigation Anchor hover open close bracket. Now, here we're going to apply a background color that is different from the first. So, I'm just going to use a lighter blue color and I'm going to apply a font weight of bold. now when I click refresh you see we have our hover state and that is how you create a simple vertical navigation here in Dreamweaver CS6 I hope you enjoyed this video and I wish to see you in the next a thousand ways tutorial